So I've tested a bunch of these YouTube side hustles over the years, and some of them I would recommend as good ways to make money, but a lot of them I wouldn't. Mostly for the reason that there's so much competition out there, and a lot of these side hustles take way too much money just to get started. So in this video, my goal is to give you three untapped side hustles that you can start today with zero dollars, and before you know it, potentially turn it into a business that is replacing your nine to five. Number one, drop shipping on eBay. So I've documented my dropshipping experience on this channel over the past year or so. And the biggest issues I face with this business model is number one, expensive ad costs when it comes to testing creatives on an ad platform like TikTok. And number two, low conversion rates because I can't get my customers to trust my store enough to want to spend their own money. A way that you can eliminate both of these issues is by dropshipping your products on eBay. First, this takes away all the lack of trust because eBay is a proven marketplace that's been around for almost 30 years and they've done billions of dollars in transactions. So you don't have to spend hours building a store, creating a logo, learning how to copyright, just to try and persuade a customer to thinking that your product is legit. And the, the, the animation style is so dope. Second, selling products on eBay takes away the need of spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on ads just to get people to your website because eBay has millions of visitors of free traffic visiting it every single month. So you don't have to worry about building a brand because you're just leveraging the huge brand that is eBay. So for you as a young CEO, the only thing that you have to worry about is finding products that will sell. And you can do this organically by searching around on eBay or on AliExpress to see what's trending right now or what's working for other sellers. Or another way, which is probably more efficient, is using a product research software like Zik Analytics. So with a tool like this, you can find multiple winning products in like 10 minutes. So even to just get started, we have trending eBay niches in the last 30 days, and you can see exactly how much revenue each of those products is doing. So I can see that this guy is doing about $11,000 a month. So I can scan and see exactly what products he's selling and how much each of those products is doing for him. So his biggest product seems to be this eyelash kit. And if I want to find his supplier, you press one button and it'll show you all of the AliExpress listings for that exact same product. So as you can see on AliExpress, it sells for about a dollar. So that gives you about a $3 profit. That's pretty decent, but that's not going to cover your rent. I would recommend going for more high ticket items. Portable camping toilet. So this looks like it's killing it, $44,000 a month. So here we found the exact same product listed for $8.25 on AliExpress, which would give you about a $16 profit per unit. This guy is selling $96 a month. That's a pretty decent $1,500 profit per month. And the best part about selling on eBay is this is something that would never work on a typical dropshipping store. Usually if you're marketing on Facebook or TikTok, you need that wow factor or that problem solving aspect for the product to really work. But with eBay, you have millions of people coming to this website every single month that are looking for these random products like this that you probably haven't even thought of. And that opens up this potential for you to make thousands of dollars in profit a month selling these random products. So if you can spend like half an hour a day just doing product research and making a whole bunch of different listings on eBay, you're pretty much guaranteeing that you find that one product that really blows your store up and makes you thousands of dollars of passive income every single month and match that with good seo good photos and consistency and you're pretty much guaranteed to win on tap side also number two selling digital products on tiktok now i don't know what your guys feed looks like on instagram and tiktok but mine is about 20 percent memes 80 percent hustle culture sigma grind set escape the matrix type posts now what i've noticed the past couple months is that these accounts do really well by following a really simple formula motivational movie scene or podcast clip plus dramatic music equals hella views now if you can build up one of these accounts which is super easy to do because the videos pretty much sell themselves it's a lot easier to get someone to stop scrolling for a david goggins or joe rogan clip than it is as yourself you need to try to work harder you can put yourself in a pretty valuable position by doing this because you're essentially building a self-improvement brand. And from a marketing point of view, this is one of the best niches to get into because these kinds of motivational videos, they speak to the emotions of people who feel like they're not doing enough with their lives, which is most people. And a lot of the times when you're watching a video that inspires you to become a better person, you're more likely to spend time or money on something that you think will help you achieve that. So how do you turn these viewers into money? The first and most straightforward would be something like the TikTok Creator Fund, which seems to have some of the best payouts out of any of the short form apps right now but i don't think that's even close to where you're going to make the most money doing something like this if you look at the bios of a lot of these big accounts on tiktok they usually have some kind of link selling something related to what their niche is in the self-improvement niche you'll see a lot of times it's something like a free ebook now you might be asking how are they making money with a free ebook so if we take a look at this guy over here we can see that his link goes to a free ebook talking about habits and I'm like 99% sure that this guy just asked ChatGPT to rewrite Atomic 
habits for him. And that's what this article is. But the real purpose of this link is not to get people to read this article. It is this referral link to sign up to this guy's blog over here. And I can almost guarantee you that this guy is making a commission for every single person that subscribes to his blog post off of that TikTok link. And it's probably somewhere in the one to $3 range per person. And I would bet that this TikTok account is making a whole bunch of money off of this referral link. And there's also value after that because signing up for that, you probably give them your email. And with that, he can probably send email offers to people who subscribe. So you can kind of see the formula here. It's you hook somebody in with a free offer, but that gives you the leverage to branch out into a whole bunch of different income streams. And this doesn't just have to be the self-improvement industry. I've seen other creators on TikTok. Maybe if they're in social media marketing, they'll offer coaching in their bio, affiliate links. There's a whole bunch of potential here. And you might not think that people buy this stuff, but I guarantee you that they do. So the third and final side hustle is drop servicing. So drop servicing is using the same formula as drop shipping, but instead of branding a product off a wholesale supplier and then selling it as your own, you are doing this with a service instead. So you're basically a middleman between a customer and a service provider. Now this is definitely not a new side hustle. I mean, this is basically just outsourcing, which has been done by every single company in North America for the past however many years. But I think there's a whole bunch of new opportunities that have popped up with this business model that I don't think have been completely taken advantage of yet. Now, if you watch other YouTube videos about job servicing, they'll probably recommend something like video editing and social media marketing, which to be honest, I would not recommend at all. As someone who's worked in marketing for companies and I've been working on YouTube videos for the past couple of years, I can tell you firsthand that I get multiple DMs and phone calls a week of people trying to sell their editing and marketing services to me. And 98% of the time, these people are super unqualified and it's just a waste of time to even answer them, which I actually believe has tainted the opportunities for people who are actually good in these fields. So what I would recommend if you want to start a job servicing business is to think out the box a little bit. What problems do you see in your everyday life that you think could be solved by an online service? For example, if you know someone who owns a physiotherapy clinic, maybe you can offer them 3D renders that they can use for their patients. Maybe you know someone who works in customer service and constantly answers the same questions. So you can hire someone to build them an AI chatbot that answers all of those questions for them. That service alone would be worth thousands of dollars. And you can definitely find someone to do it for you without having to learn how to code. Now I'm going to show you one more direction that I think you can go with this business model that I've seen blowing up on TikTok recently. Now what I'm going to show you personally, I wouldn't do because morally it would feel kind of weird, but I'm going to show you for the sake of inspiration, what you can do with this business model. So floating around on TikTok, I've been seeing these happy birthday message videos from what looks to be some kind of African villagers. Happy birthday, Goga. Happy birthday, Goga. We love you. We love you. Sexy boy. Sexy boy. And at first look, these seem pretty cool. I mean, you get a funny video and it looks like you're putting money into these guys' pockets. But after digging a little bit deeper into where these videos are coming from, I found the viral TikTok accounts that are selling people these videos are most likely just getting them from Fiverr or other websites that sell services. And they're making their own website around the service, making it almost look like it's some kind of nonprofit or charity by the way it's branded. And they're marketing it on TikTok and Google and raising the original price and taking the profit. And after tracking their website sales, you can see that this site has made $20,000 last week alone. Now you don't have to be gone to see why this is kind of messed up, but I'm not the side hustle beliefs. I mean, use your own judgment when it comes to this. If I were to do the side hustle, I would try to do it in a way that provides value to the person who's creating the service for me instead of just exploiting them for being cheap. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.